I guess that's what I get for not warming up before starting. Alright, here's the run, right here. Never mean to grab that. That's supposed to be, uh, didn't mean to grab that either. go left there. Oh, don't do that either. That's where things went wrong last time. You're supposed to hit all those guys with that one throw. Don't do that. A lot of slop. I am as bonus this time. Better. <laughs> 
Time that time than I did the last one where I screwed up. Get out of here faster. Oh. Gotta do this a little more often. Oh wow, it's about even. Thought I was gonna lose time. Should be able to jump to the hook. I think I, I jumped out of the spin a little too early that time. That wasn't bad. That's better than normal. There we go. I gotta get the, uh, the pause down there. There's like a, um, I don't know if it's like frame perfect or what, how big the window is, but there we go. Get over there, crow. What? Dixie! I don't care. I'm not resetting again. I'm sick of resetting. Slow. Because obviously I'm scrub at this. starts to get fun anyway. That's kind of why I like the 100% route of this instead of any percent. Because any percent doesn't start to even get fun until World 3. I've never tried any percent actually, I should. Not 
cut. Good at hitting those instant platforms. No! Terrible bonus! Ugh. It's okay. Like I said earlier, there's so much time to save everywhere else in the run that um, I'm not gonna worry about that kind of thing. And if you don't know what you just saw, that was a team throw super jump into uh, the warp barrel. Didn't get it the second time. I can usually get it one of the two times you're supposed to do it. But not every time. But that's why my PB is terrible. Because of the not every times. If I were to put together a run that was like legitimately good and actually pulling off the level strats I'm capable of, like consistently, it would easily be under two hours. Easy. I've seen a few runs that are right around two hours, and um, the strats I'm using are fast. It's a faster route for sure. But um, I just am not consistent. It's a problem. Never get it doing that particular fall into this bonus here. I always seem to land in the other barrels. Oh. Here's the other thing that's nice about um, any percent or a hundred percent, rather, is. Uh, you get to actually see the Lost World levels. Go away, tire. Oh no! Well, that was weird. I lost my rhythm. That was a little nerve-wracking on that last B. I lose a Kong there. It's a pretty big time loss. Don't do that. Oh, dear. Oh, that's actually really bad. I needed... That's worse. But... You need both. So do the trick that I want to try to do. Oh, go! It's not bad. It's not terrible. Still this close to the bonus, or the, the midpoint. Thank you. Get it. Yep. Okay. 
Scrolly scroll. <laughs> now if I'd have got that on the first try, instead of... <sighs> Why am I going in this level? This is not the right level. If I'd have got that on the first try, instead of like the seventh try or whatever it was, Been, would have been in good shape. Or that midpoint. Let's call them bonuses. Why do I call them bonuses? Shouldn't get that midpoint. It lags the game like none other. Probably the second laggiest part of the game. I shouldn't have switched there. bonus is like the trolliest bonus in the game. Because the end guard hitboxes are so bad that it's like really easy to run into one of those dudes. Go, 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 go! That guy spawned late. That's weird. That guy spawned early. I always miss this guy, or hit that guy. I want to try to... I want to try to not hit him. Because you could get to the invincibility barrel before the water goes hot again. Wow, I saved 30 seconds and it wasn't even a gold split. That must have been a terrible... Alright, well I'm back in green. As horrible as my world one was, we're back. A lot of... This level could go one of two ways. I could either save a lot of time, or lose a lot of time. There's not a lot of middle ground. Save a lot of time. <laughs> well, maybe. I guess I shouldn't speak so soon. That bonus always makes me nervous, because if I... It's faster to not use Rambi, but, um... Oh no! That was horrible. Lose a lot of time. <sighs> I have to do it again. <sighs> Maybe not lose a lot. I think I screwed it up. I screwed up that Rambi long jump in my in this split, so... Oh, that was early. This is really disappointing. Now I'm gonna miss it like four times in a row. Go away! Clobber. Uh, thanks, yeah. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get it again, so... I guess if there's anything good. If there's anything good that comes out of this, it's that you guys get to see that again, maybe. Well, you're gonna see it again, because I'm not I'm not gonna 
I'm not going to try to go forward without getting it. So, at least one more time. Maybe four more times if I die four more times after that. It's not that hard either. Just got to jump at the right time there, which I did. I did. Do the Rammy double jump. There you go. It's not as precise as it looks. It You can be... There's two ways it can go wrong. Um, you can be... If you jump at the right time and basically hold B... Stupid beetle. That beetle is a troll. He's like, even if... Sorry to change the subject, but that beetle, if you... Like, it's just hard to either get around or you do what I did and jump on him and fall in the fire. But, um... Yeah, it's not as precise as it looks. If you're a little... If you're... There's leeway, but if, I mean, if you're, if you're too, if you jump too early, um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna fall in, like, right at the beginning. Like I did that, one of those times you're gonna hit one of the bees, if you jump too late, um, uh-oh, I don't wanna have Dixie here, but if you jump too late, um, you're gonna, you're gonna fall later and you're not gonna hit the double jump, you're gonna miss the two guys at the end. Um, there's a neat trick here you can do with like a team throw, but I don't know it. Plus 109, that's really bad. And as bad as this um, final time is here for the two, 248 or whatever, um, my first half of the game was actually pretty good when I did that. It's the, um... This, no, I do this every time! Don't go in there. How do I have three lives? I'm supposed to have, like, 12 by now. <laughs> oh, man. But, um... Yeah, the end of the game was terrible for me on this split. Oh, that was bad. I did that wrong. That was supposed to be a team throw. <laughs> nice thing about this bonus is it isn't random. It's always the same chest. Oh, there's a barrel. You can go fast enough to cartwheel through them, I'm just not good yet. I thought it was up. Next one's up. Though I have had runs where I've missed that throw and fell from that barrel all the way down. There's a lot of, yeah, these up vertical levels, there's a lot of potential time delays. Oops. Not a lot of time to save either, because there's not really a lot of shortcuts. Yeah, some things are definitely a pain. I'm not entirely sure what thing you're referring to. I think um, I have pretty poor upload connection. Uplink connection, rather. So I get... Oh, 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 gonna save time? So I, I'm delayed. You're probably delayed by, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. Alright, Cleaver, please. Oh yeah, yeah, they're they're bad. There are so many times where I'll fall and miss a bonus or something like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, this is where the game starts to get hard. Not necessarily this specific level, but World 3. Actually, this specific level is pretty easy. So if I screw up here, which I have, mind you, I have. But if you like that Rambi jump, you're gonna see another one here. That one's actually nowhere near as impressive. Never fast enough on that. You can get this charge off before. one of the harder ones. Interestingly enough, world, um, what is it, six? The, uh, oops. This team throw is really important. I'll explain why in a sec. But world six was easier to learn from a speedrun perspective than this one, even though that's probably technically a harder stage. So the reason I needed a team throw in this bar that barrel, oh, I, what? Are you kidding me? That was bad. And I didn't hit the midpoint. Really? Welcome to noob speedruns with Antilles58. That's how we roll around here. What was I? I don't even know what I was talking about. Well, that's how this is supposed to look. Okay, I was talking about that team throw. If you team throw in there... What just happened? Right, explaining the team throw. So if you team throw in there, in that barrel, and then you don't, you hit this guy, and you remember to push the Y button while you're in the air, Dixie does a really high jump. Are you kidding me? I've never screwed that up like that. Dixie does a really high jump and skips that barrel, which that barrel that you're normally supposed to shoot across the um, the lake in takes like 10 seconds. But if you miss it, it's going to cost you like 5 minutes. So I think I'm starting to question my judgment. That's the thing, man, is uh, when you practice the levels and you get them, you, you get them in really good, like, you get a really good pace going, it's really easy to kind of keep that good pace going, but as soon as you mess up like this, it becomes very difficult uh, to maintain. Like, none of this level is... I said it at the beginning, this is a very easy level. I mean, the world as a whole is hard. But... Let's see. Get a good pace going. 
Okay, well now I can't do it at all, so maybe that's for the best. Oh, take it back. Well, actually, no, because I didn't get the team throw. So this is what you do that to try to avoid. So you don't have to do all that business. And then you bounce off his little barrels to get into the bonus. <sighs> so that's an easy trick too. I just got thrown off because I missed it the first time. And um... So then I'm just... My normal timing for pressing Y was just completely off. It's okay. It's okay. No! <laughs> then I... I don't have a lot of lives. This could be... Normally I have like 12, like I was saying. This isn't good. <laughs> if I get a game over, I'm trying again. I haven't wasted enough time yet. And this is such a terrible run already. The good news is, if I actually do hit 230, even with this, which is very possible. I mean, I mean, the last couple stages I had were terrible. Like, I'm... I'm not even like out of the possibility of getting my goal yet. That's how bad my first two, my last few stages were, in my real run. But um, that's not good. But I, I haven't been playing enough. I would, if I got a game over, I'd, I'd try again. I might not try again after that, but. That part's always tricky. I, prefer, I really prefer to not lose a con there. I haven't really configured out a figured out a good consistent way around this guy yet. Oops. Come on, let's go. Almost landed on that guy. Oh, I never split after the last level. Oops. So I'm not actually six minutes ahead, just three minutes ahead. Why did I switch? Why did I team up so early? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's better to have Dixie be the one that gets hit there, because she's a lot slower going through the rest of this. And she doesn't jump as high. This is where this is probably the first actually hard level in the game. And I'm not I'm not anywhere near fast through it yet.
So I'm going to kind of take it a little safe. Or get hit and miss the bonus because of getting hit. going on. That was like four second loss. Alright, let's see if we can get to plus five minutes and still cut 230. That's gonna happen now. I guess I just haven't played these levels in a while. Let's play live, folks. That thing always freaks me out. I don't have the timing down yet. There's a positioning you can have where you jump off the pole and you can... Or the vine and you hit that thing right away, but I don't have it yet. Here's another level that has the potential to either be really easy or troll really hard. Ratley's hitbox, almost as bad as in guards. Not quite. What was that all about? Jazzy, hello. Welcome to Let's Plays Live. safe through here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'd like to do some of my own Let's Plays live. There's a lot of games I'd like to play that I've never played that I kind of want to do. Um, kind of want to do um, blind, but um, I titled this speedruns, and I am not living up to that title. Noob speedruns are not, and this is this is bad. This guy's always troll me right there. Gotta get a good route through this level. <laughs> well, 
Well, look at that. Pretty good save. That's what I meant in my last, uh... This other split is just really bad. Dixie's not good at this part. See, with like Diddy, you can just run past these guys, but with Dixie, you gotta wait. She is slow. Just don't do that. Just do that. Clobber. Oh, dear. I don't like that. One con here makes me very uncomfortable. Not hitting the B there makes me very uncomfortable. This is why. Ugh. That B. I, I always forget the timing on him, so I always end up hitting him there. That took it a little slow at the end. Lost a little bit, but that's not too bad. Alright. Slime con. Let's go. What? Okay, sorry. I was. Never mind. I got confused by my split for a second. I think I got it. Yep. Super jump. What just happened there, if you've never seen that before, was um, if you switch your Kongs in the water while one of them is above the water and one of them is below you uh, store a super jump so that the next time you get hit you um, you'll do a super jump and so I did that and got hit by that beetle on purpose what is going on? go away Diddy or Dixie whatever your name is The star super jump and gets a fly like that. bad level. And I still saved time. I could have saved like a lot more than that. Alright, Bramble Blast. Definitely time to save here. 
right as you enter there, you'll um, be able to shoot the barrel the direction it's pointing when you first get into it, which I think the timing is pretty precise. I think I've heard a four frame window, something like that. So anyway. Little detour, try to figure that out. Okay, here's where I usually die. And of course, now that I've announced that, it's probably gonna happen again. My squawks flying is just pretty poor. So, ideally, I'd save the five seconds and not get the DK barrel and not get hit. Terrible posture. I mean, the still position I'm sitting in is absolutely horrible. Uh oh. Jazzy, how's the game sound? <clears throat> Usually you uh, think it's too loud. Not that I'm complaining, just trying to get it calibrated properly. kill for this guy too. Um, I don't know, it saves probably like 10 seconds. But I don't really care yet. I'm just going to save one second. Get a gold split. Alright, whatever I said about the last level being where the game gets hard, or last world, this is where the game gets hard. <laughs> I think world 4 is the hardest part of the game, other than the final couple stages. The last three stages are pretty hard too. <laughs> Missed 
the super jump, or the damage boost, rather. Come back, Squitter! It's actually not necessary anymore, but he just makes this last part a little easier. Because he makes that bee go away. Good. I'm starting to get a little life reservoir. That's kind of scary being down to two lives in World 3, because as you saw earlier, it's not that ridiculous or, um, or that unheard of, I should say, to have a level just go really sour and you lose seven lives in a row. You gotta learn that one, that, that trick. And we're basically back to even. Not really any time to save on this level, though. Tons of potential time to lose. Like, one mistake is going to cost minutes. I hate these stages. This one's not so bad, but the the other two um, levels like this, the what are they? Roller coaster levels, very bad. <clears throat> this is one of the worst bonuses in the game, not because it's hard but because it's not, it's pretty easy to make a mistake and hit one of the vines, and if you do, um, you gotta do the whole beginning of the stage again. There's no way to get no other way around it. And obviously that's not good in this level. Swag balloon? Nope. 
Sorry. Sorry, chat. Missed the swag balloon. Missed it. If I didn't miss it, I'd be green now, but I missed it. So red. So still red. There's a trick there, too, that lets you, um... Go through those bees a little faster. Some camera manipulation you can do. I just don't know yet. Here's another troll area. That's not a huge loss, though. I'll probably die. One of the most well-placed DK barrels in the game right there. Game designers knew what they were doing. Level designers, I should say. Okay, let's see if I get up here with two cons, and if I can, try a trick. Oh, I missed it! There's a way to get through there where you keep squawks past the sign. Um, I haven't actually seen it, or done it, but I've seen it in a video. Come on. Where you keep squawks past the sign, and uh, you, can, you don't need to use Squitter here, which obviously that saves a lot of time. That's one of my... Once I get a run I'm happy with, like, once I get sub two hours, I think. Which, like I said, this route is easily sub two hours. Without deaths. But once I'm getting sub two, I'm gonna have to title my stream something different. Now I'm in trouble. me really sad that I missed the bonus. That makes me really sad too because I need both Kongs to get the bonus. But anyway, once I get sub 2 I'm gonna learn like, I've got a whole list of tricks I want to try to learn at that point. That would, I think, take it down to, like, 145. With just better execution, of course, too. I think world record's 131. Which is kinda... I'm not willing to put in the time to get that optimal. That was a little slow. I gotta get a better route through that bonus. <clears throat> okay. I hate this stage forever and ever for the rest of my life. Actually, I have two cons. Usually I don't have one con. I don't make it through Bramble Scramble with, with both.
That's a big deal. Now this is one of probably the top five worst stages in the game. Especially when you play with Dixie and Fred. Especially the first half of the level. Second half, not so bad. I'm gonna do saving strats here. I always get a little too fancy and it goes south very quickly. Sorry about the scrubness of this. Oh no! That's actually very bad. Please, cat, please, cat. Oh. Okay, what do I do here? What's the best what's the fastest way to do this? Fastest way to do this is to not get hit by that necky. Where's the next DK barrel? Oh, it's later. The fastest way to do this was probably to die and not just go back and get the bonus. That was very sloppy. Usually much faster than that. See, I have mixed feelings about that now, because I missed the bonus, but I got through that level deathless. Was that deathless? I think that was deathless. Which has never happened to me before in my entire life as long as I've lived. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Now I get to play the crappy part of the level again. Well, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty fun. It's just... It's just difficult. So again, I apologize for the safety strats here. But this time, I'm gonna try to actually be safe with my safety strats. I'm actually very happy with that. 
that was one of the levels where I really wanted to get through without dying. Sorry, that was a bit sloppy. I just was about to fall off the ledge. Which, as you might guess, is not very helpful. It's pretty good. Alright, can I get the skip? Oh, I almost had it. That was almost it. That was almost it. Almost. Almost it. I got the mid barrel. That happened to me in my last practice run of this. This is an easy level. It's like the easiest level in the game, and I died.
I was definitely on track to save more time too. That was close. There we go. Oh no, Red Beak! Unfortunately, I didn't lose that much time. It's like I like to say, you have to leave room for, uh, for improvement next time. <sighs> Still green. But it's green from a 248 time, so that's terrible. What? King Zing, please. Not dying is huge for that guy. Why did I jump over these things? Oh, big guy. Oh no! I thought the roll would go longer. I thought it would be longer, but it was short. It wasn't longer. Why am I... It's very important when you're playing this and you have two Kongs to always jump for the DK barrels anyway. That's actually a trick to, uh, to, keep, to keep it noob speedruns. You can't allow the uh, illusion of skill here. This level's so fun when it goes well, too. When it goes quickly. Of a, 
a roll I can get under that guy at the end there that I took the damage from, but uh, I'm not very consistent at it. Okay, here's another level that's Troll City. That's like the King Troll right there. So the troll face. But, um... Not that it's hard, it's actually a very easy level. But you make... It's again, it's one of those one tiny mistake. You're done. Done. Good. Oh man, I almost missed it. I jumped a little too late, but I still made it. Oh, that was close. Oh, I hate that bonus. It's not hard and I've got the pattern memorized, but it's still it's very easy to jump a little too far or a little too short and then you have to do like it's gonna lose you at least two minutes. Good. That should be another big time savings. Yep. Well, 30 seconds. Not that much. It's something. No. There's a much more optimal way to get through these guys, too. Like, I roll off that rat. But I always miss the jump afterwards. Oh, that was bad. What am I doing? I hesitated at the beginning. Never hesitate. Sometimes it's good to wait and just be a little bit. Alright, rolly roll. Nope. I've gotten the rolly roll before, which is pretty good. <clears throat> oh no. Stars, please. Good. 
that's about 10 seconds lost. Doing that bonus ultimately, you should finish with about 25 on the clock. Oh man, I hesitated again. Don't hesitate. That was actually a pretty good save right there. That was a jump too early. It was about 5 to 10 seconds here. Was actually not too bad. please. My eye got still got sunscreen in my eye. Upstairs. He's supposed to be sleeping, but he's banging on his door, causing a lot of trouble for a two-year-old. trying the other one because I don't know it, but just getting one of them is very good for me. No! Web Woods.
I missed the setup to get the damage boost again. There's a fast way to set this up, um, where you can actually use one of the quick cannonballs that he's shooting, that, where you just kind of set your platforms up on the way down, and then going back you can do like a really, a couple quick hops and get it. Um, fortunately I don't know that very well. I've done it a few times, but I need to just grind it out and get it. It's another one of those things where once I uh, get close to two hours, um, on the time. I'll probably maybe try to work on that. So here's where there's another damage boost. I'm not exactly sure which B it's on. That was scary. Sorry for taking it slow through here. I just lost too much time on this level last time. No! <laughs> that was the DK coin I missed. I haven't missed that yet in a run. Actually, I haven't missed that yet since I started practicing this. Like, over a month ago. Is it a month ago? When was the end of April? Have I only been doing this a month? I've only been doing this a little over a month. That actually encourages me. It felt like a lot longer. I've just been really busy. Too busy. It's life, man. It's life. It's busy. It's never not busy. Nope. I hope I got the mid player barrel. I usually do. Good. I'm not gonna try the damage boost again. Dang, I was on track to save like 10 minutes. Oh well. It's okay.
Uh oh. Again. Uh oh, uh oh. It's like word of the day. Oh no. Oh that pisses me off. Sorry. I'm gonna lose time on this level. I hate wet woods. Yep, losing time. I had a chance to go 10 minutes ahead and now I've lost all of it. I'm just gonna start practicing this level more. I didn't really think I needed to that badly, but... and a half on a level that was a 10 minute split last time. GG game. GG. Another level I need to learn the speedrun uh, route through. So right now I just play it pretty casually. Not optimal by any stretch. That's not good.
that's really bad, actually. <clears throat> I needed, it's actually better that way. I needed Dixie anyway. I needed to not lose him. Upstairs. My wife made my kid stop banging on the door. I don't think he liked that. Is there another DK barrel? I don't think there's another DK barrel. Not another DK bro. It's all cat luck at this point now. Alright, cat. Up and right. No, don't hit him! Alright, get ready to start losing time again. Another DK barrel, fortunately. There? I don't know if there is. I might be wrong about that. No, there is. Right here. There's not any more after that. These two levels, man. Web Woods, Fiery Furnace, Lead, bye bye.
See what I mean? There was so much potential in this for time to make up in this really horrible splits. But unfortunately, why do I never make the jump? Things just don't go that way. I saw Reflected do this the other day. This level. Needless to say, it looked better than this. the bonus. as fast as you can. That's all you need to do. Is that you can skip two bees there, but I've never done it, so I don't like to try. It's bad that I've missed it.
quite get that.
It's not good to not have. <clears throat> okay. That's good. To not lose the combat. It's not so good to fall there. Unfortunately, it's not that bad.
Okay, this is one of the levels that I royally screwed up in the splits. Again, I'm not calling that my PB because my PB is like 239 something. Um, this is just... Originally the splits I used were by every world, but I think it's a little more helpful to have level by level splits. So the first run I completed with level by level splits was this horrible, atrocious run. Oh, and in that run I forgot that DK coin. I haven't missed one of those yet, so that's good. Should have 37 here. One of the other tricks I'm going to have to learn sooner than later, the fact that I might try to learn before I do another run, is um, the Rattly Double Instant Jump, or the Quick Hop, whatever it's called. There's just ways to do that faster and higher. And obviously, in a vertical speed run, that's better. Faster and higher is your friend. a little bit safer than I probably should have. Hey, I didn't get hit. Did get hit there. That's one of the better places to get hit. That's not. Didn't lose too much time. That's okay. It's not that bad.
sad all right <clears throat> moment of truth right here look at that split look at that 20 minutes i took on this boss last time 20. that was actually that was that was not the worst i've ever done this guy why did i switch Why did I get hit? Actually, no, that was the worst I've ever done on this guy. Probably ever, like my whole life. I've, I played this game a lot as a kid. This, watch this split. Minus 26 minutes.
I didn't even die a lot in that last, in the second half, pretty much since Web Woods. I don't know if I died once. Okay, rules keep. I can't remember. I wish SNES Linux had a hotkey to reset. At least if it does, it's not listed in the menu. So I have to go to the menu to do that. <laughs> Alright. Hardest level in the game. Coming up. How did I spend, like... I don't know. What was it, 18 minutes? 20 minutes on a three and a half minute long boss last time. That's so bad. It's okay. Got a reasonable chance at sub 230 here. Lost a second on the reset. I'm bad. Lost a second. It's because I'm bad. Poor mouse skills. Okay, good. I think that's alright. I hope I didn't miss like funky or something like that. I'm pretty sure I went into those. Oh, now I'm paranoid that I didn't get funky. I missed up one of the Kong family. No, I think I'm supposed to be 90... 95% at this point. That was nothing good about that. Been a huge loss. <laughs> Wouldn't have been a huge loss. It would have been like 20 to 30 seconds, which on this level is that's all I lose. We're in we're in good shape, but <sighs> uh oh, I need that. Sorry, sorry game. Okay, so that I don't know what happened right there. That wasn't. That was not good. That was not a possible development. Here we go. That's why I, that was that was bad. It's okay. One death there is not bad. 
I'm more prone to like 30 deaths here. Why did I put a web up there last time? <sighs> Animal antics choke. Animal antics choke. Don't be, don't be deceived. Just because my time is so far ahead here and I've got 15 minutes, it is very possible that this level could take me 15 minutes alone. Guys, that guy control you. Oh no, okay, got it. Yes, yes, now we pray. Now we pray that I actually talk to all the Kong family and this is actually 100%. I'm pretty sure I did, but it's part of my route. Especially in, uh, I usually do that all in World 1. Seventeen thirty one. That's pretty good. That's really good. If I actually talk to all the Kong family members, that's really good. That's like that's like hype. That's awesome. Cause I lost I lost at least twenty minutes in that run. At least. I lost like 10 minutes in Web Woods. I was 6 minutes behind this terrible split, like early in the game. Yeah. Sub 2 is super doable. Oh. Basically, like this time, I had a pretty good second half with the exception of Web Woods and Furnace Friend, or uh, Fiery Furnace. Thanks, Jazzy. Yeah, those two exceptions, it was a really good second half. Um, but my first half of this was terrible. So if I just get the 
good first half and a good second half, put them together, that's sub two. All right, that's doable. Sorry, I'm like drumming the table out of excitement. Because Animal Antics, I still died twice. Um, Screecher Sprint, I died. Yeah, seriously, I get deathless. Just get deathless, man. Just don't die. Okay, let's make sure. Here, watch. All ready for disappointment? Oh, got it. 102. I could have sworn I was gonna. I was gonna miss a Kong. But hey, I, that's sub two game time. That's pretty good. you now. 